Hello and welcome back to Swift Owl 7 Gaming. I am Swift Owl 7. Let's go ahead and turn down some volume right at the moment here. Okay, that menu volume gets a little uh, loud. We are in Prison Architect. This is a vanilla Let's Play with all the DLCs. And we are going to do this Let's Play through the month of May. Um, at least until Prison Architect 2 comes out. This is our farewell to Prison Architect 1. Um, and as I go through the menu here, get back out of this options menu, we're going to go ahead and create a new prison. And we're going to go ahead, and I do have unlocked all of the DLCs. I have not played all the DLCs. I'm kind of uh, a person that has to collect them all. And so I have collected uh, all of the DLCs and most of the games that I have owned. Um, if you hear my cat in the background, say hi to Cleo. She just tried to jump up on my lap and I'm putting her back down. Okay. <laughs> Without fail, she has to make her appearance. Um, let's go ahead and go into DLC settings. We're not going to do um, the Tropical Fever. Uh, I just don't know a whole lot about that to do it. Um, we're not going to do the undead. We are going to do prisoner aging. We are going to do gangs, um, special reputations. We'll do weather. We'll do low rat infestation. We'll do um, dynamic reputations. And I'm going to keep, uh, I'll keep that medium. Criminally Insane Inmates, and Prisoner Transfers. Let's go back over to here. Um, we we need to select a ward. We're just going to have a, a male prison. Um, we're just going to keep our default uniforms. Uh, and there are several wardens that I have not played with. Um... Some of these are default ones. I don't know if these are in order of how they came out or not. But we're going to go ahead and take a look. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to make this just random. And then we're going to keep our dog just as the classic dog. I think that looks the best. We are going to have fog of war. We are going to have failure conditions, forests, lakes. I don't necessarily like generating buildings. Warden mode. So I've actually already started recording this series twice now. And both times I played in Warden mode, and I decided that's just not the mode that we need to be playing in for a Let's Play. So, I, I have to say this much. Warden mode, I like to think that I was one of the people that got this into the game. Because uh, I noticed that um, with uh, Death Sentences, that you had control over the Warden. And I messaged uh, Introversion for new ideas. I think they had a form or something. I put a long spiel about warden mode, and it is exactly like I described it being with permadeath and things like that. So um, I like to think that they listened to me there, and that was really cool. Um, but we're going to play in just the regular prison architect mode. Uh, events, temperature, staff needs, escape plans. Uh, we're going to make our own money, and uh, we are going to do some mutators. And I always liked the old school, or slow deliveries rather. I think everything should be brought in on a truck. You have to wait for stuff to come in. I also think that there's a couple other things here. Now, Cleo, you're going to step on my keyboard here, and that's not going to be good. You have to stay down off the desk. And uh, I swear I give my, my cat attention and food and treats and uh, pettings, and I play with her. But if I have to sit down on the computer, she is right here. I'm wondering who the heck I'm talking to and wondering why I'm not talking to her. <laughs> we are going to do extra reputations. Um, we are going to do uh, the dog do. I, I have it. The doggy do. I haven't done this uh, this one yet. Um, I haven't done this one. This looks like a good one for like a stall up 13 Hogan's Hero style uh, prison. <laughs> that might be good for that. I was thinking there was one more, but maybe not. Um... We're going to click OK on that, and I think we're ready to start our new prison. Hopefully we get a decent starting map. Okay, there's a little water up here. As long as our delivery and garbage zone doesn't spawn on water, we are OK. We are on a small plot, which I prefer. 
So now that we are in the game, let's just turn up our sound a little bit here. And because there's not really music uh, in the actual game itself. Make sure my microphone's recording and everything is recording as we go on. We are going to hire uh, two more workmen. I like to have an even number. Um, that way I can keep track if there's anything that goes wrong, any missing workmen. I do like to keep track of that information. We're going to go ahead and prepare a delivery area. And I'm trying to think how I want to do this. Um, we're actually going to move our delivery area down into this section here. Um... We're going to have a double door there, a double door there. This is not a tutorial, though you'll definitely pick up some information uh, if, if you view this as a tutorial. That's perfectly fine. Um, but by no means am I trying to go through and tell you um, everything there is to know about Prison Architect. That is not what I am trying to do whatsoever. Um, Okay, this is going to be kind of an exports area and garbage area. So that's what we're doing right here. And there's going to be a hallway right here. This is more factory-esque style that I'm going with. And I do some things in the game that's more RP role-playing than, um, you know, what the game mechanics actually requires you to do. And uh, that's that's just a-okay. Um, we're going to have a little hallway right here. We're going to put in a break room. Probably, you know, this will be like a break room. We'll do... Um, we'll do like a, uh, a restroom in the break room. Cleo, Cleo, hello Cleo. I see you here. We'll have our vending machines and stuff over here. And we'll do a door right in the middle of the room. And across the hallway, we're going to have our staff canteen. No, no. I mean, we are. But first, we're going to have our workman's office. And then we'll have our staff canteen down here. I think that will be just fine. Get that zoned out. We won't be building all of this right away. We are going to need our power plant. And uh, we're going to do a little side hallway here. We need to do a three. There, there's going to be our power plant. And then we need to do another object for our water plant. And that's all going to be right there, down this hallway. Um, we'll have a little door outside just for uh, maintenance purposes. We'll probably end up doing a kitchen. Um, right, probably right here, actually. Um, and what I like to do with kitchens, I do it a little differently. So I really like the uh, Prison Architect 2 video that just came out. Today is uh, March 23rd at the recording of this video, and I'm probably going to post this video today, too. So, uh, a couple days ago, they released the very first kind of Let's Play of Prison Architect 2. And I really liked in the kitchens how they added um, prep stations. I, I like to put tables in and just pretend that they're prep stations. I like things to look aesthetically pleasing. I like things to look um, like, they w like you would expect them to look at like in real life. I'm very much into that type of a play style. So what we're going to do is um, have access to our kitchen right here. We're going to go ahead and do a walk-in uh, fridge section. Now, we won't be able to put a door here. Um, otherwise, uh, the game will not... Um, the game just simply won't like that. So we'll do a nice walk-in cooler. Uh, maybe we'll do some storage shelves along here at some point in time. Um, we'll do it that way. And maybe we'll do like a uh, little 
storage room right here. We're going to do a uh, staff uh, restroom. Not really something that's needed, but something that just makes sense for kitchen workers. We're going to do back here is going to be our prep station area. So you're going to come back here. You're going to see sinks. And I'm actually designing this after our real kitchen I work, worked in. Um, I didn't actually work in the kitchen. I shouldn't say that. I uh, kind of supervised to some extent the facility and staff. Um, but there was a large campground operation, if you will, long, long time ago. Um, I am looking for a sink. There we go. I just want to see how big it is. Three. Yep, that's what I thought. It's been a little while since I've played this game. We're going to do a sink there as our prep station. Um, okay, I think I'll do that. Just like that. And here, we're going to have our cooker. We're going to have two cookers. I like to put fire sprinklers above them because that's going to simulate a hood system. Okay. We're going to have um, potentially cookers on this side, but for right now we're just going to do like a prep table, if you will. Um, we're going to have a sink here for your hand washing station. Probably right there. We're going to have a sink here, a sink here because I'm kind of designing this after a, again, real life. Um, again, a sink right there. Dish return area. Now, obviously there's no such thing like that in Prison Architect, but I am just doing it because I can. Um, and actually what I'm gonna do is spread this down just a little bit more. I just need this to go down just a wee bit more. Because I'm going to do a old school serving. You're going to come in through here. Your serving table is going to be right here. Again, there's going to be a sink. Okay, so serving table is going to be right here. Um, potentially there could be another serving line on this side um, very unconventional for prison architect I do get that and that's okay definitely a security risk and let's just move this sink down just right to there for our hand washing station we'll have some tables here and that's very similar to what I remember that place being like um, okay now our canteen will end up going over here and let's do okay six eventually this will be a fairly large canteen we're gonna have doors going into it right there I'm not gonna have those as doors but um and then right in the middle i'm gonna assume that this is probably the middle save that beam and do something like this. Okay, and that's going to be the heart of our canteen. I might make it bigger as our prison grows. We'll see how long we play this uh, this let's play. I don't have a date set in mind. Mainly uh, just from now through the start of Prison Architect 2. Because we'll definitely do a let's play of that, most definitely. Um, we'll probably even do a very similar style prison just so we can compare. Um, so now we need to move on to administrative buildings. And I think for that, what we are going to do, I think we're going to end up making this whole area right in here some type of a courtyard-esque area. I'm actually going to bring this all the way down to here here this was an office so let's go maybe even all the way down to here we'll have this as the yard 
um, surrounded by walls, that would be really, really swell. Um, our main entrance to the prison is not here. It will be moved. Um, hopefully we can get that to work properly, how I have this envisioned. Uh, we do need, though, um, administrative uh, hallways, uh, if you will. And I think a good solution to this is to maybe do... Um, we, 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 need, we need a main entrance to the prison. I think it's going to be right here. Okay. Uh, and when you enter into the prison, there's going to be like a little airlock here. So you can go right into the maintenance sections, if you will. You can go left. We'll probably have like visitation and we'll also have some offices as well. So let's go ahead and figure out how we want this to look and work and function. Um, I think there's going to be a little waiting room here um, as people come in to the prison. And with this waiting room, um, we are going to have an office, but we're not going to have it closed behind doors. This is going to be our accountant's office, but the, it's going to function more like a secretarial office. So from our accountant's office, we're going to have access right to the warden's office, which is going to be right here. Um, we're also going to have access to, well, I'm trying to think how to do this. Hang on. I think you guys kind of understand what I'm saying. Um, I think this needs to be just a little bit bigger, maybe. Um, waiting room. Just thinking how I want to design this. I kind of want the warden's office to face the yard, but that's not necessarily something that is probably going to happen here. Um, let's go ahead and do what I was doing. I'm just taking a look at how this is going to work and function. We did something like this. The warden's office is still on this outer wall. Pretty decent room for the warden's office. We need this to be an even number for the desk. And I want the option to put the desk on either wall. So we're going to go ahead and do it that large. Over here, we are going to make this room right here our probably our chief of security's room. Um, we're definitely going to need an office for him. We're going to need an office for a lawyer too. So, uh, you know, these things might switch up from time to time. This is going to be a back hall corridor, I think, is what we're going to do for the time being. The warden's going to have a uh, private bathroom at some point in time. I'm not sure how that's going to look. We'll work on that. Um, something like that. Uh, this office here. So we're going to have an office right along here. In an office, same size, six, right here. I like to make the offices a little bit bigger than what I have to make them. Um, we're going to have visitation over in this section at some point in time, but we definitely need an intake room. So, intake is probably going to be... Uh, right along here at least for right now until we figure something out I'm gonna have two doors 
uh, along here is what I'm going to end up doing. And um, I mean, I just we'll, we'll delete that once we put the doors in. They're not going to be that type of door, but um, just as an airlock for our intake. And then you'll have access to uh, visitation, and you'll actually get to walk through visitation to where you're going. So visitation is going to have windows that look outside. There'll be probably a door right in the middle, so you can come in, and this will be your kind of your unsecured visitation area. And then we'll do a secure visitation with area with the booths somewhere along this other side. Um, I'm thinking we might want to do something like this. I want this to be outside here to some extent. I at least want a window. Um, we're going to do a little utility closet right here, probably for a boiler. And... We are going to do um, some restrooms. We don't need this many, but it just looks nice. Looks like it could be believable in real life right along here. Um, you are good. We'll get, get to visitation here shortly. It's definitely going to need to be over here somewhere. Right now, that will be visitation. We'll have a cell block down this section. This is, again, a storage room, cleaning cupboard, something like that. Um, as far as a cell block goes, we can do like a wing, something like this. We're getting that old style hospital vibe which is definitely what I'm going for where if you ever you know go to an old uh, city hospital there's often these really weird cut out courtyards because you're going to have windows looking out from everywhere so that's definitely a vibe that we are going with definitely going with windows um, not all cells will have windows not all cells will be equal but we will start out this way A lot of hate's going on about Prison Architect 2, and I don't understand why, because it looks really great. Yeah, there's going to be definitely some features that I wish were was going to be in it that are not in it at the release date. I'm sure they will make their way into it through DLC, and I'm okay with DLC. Um, you know, I like to judge a game this way. I go to a movie theater, I spend $10 to $15 because I buy popcorn, I buy drink, um, if I have a date, I'm spending even more money, which, yeah, you know, it is what it is. I don't necessarily have a date every time I go to the movie show. But um, I'm looking for, a, like, a three-hour experience for about 20 bucks. So if I get six hours of game time out of a game and I pay $40 for the game, I'm okay with that. That, to me, is not a bad investment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 14 cells over there. We're going to need um, a holding cell at some point in time. I think what we're going to do is have a hallway that goes down this way. We'll do, at some point in time, another cell block on this side and maybe continue this on. But for right now, this is going to be a hard stop here. This hallway is going to go down because we're going to need access to the cafeteria. We got maybe yard access there. We could potentially do like a yard access right here. Um, potentially. So 
So I'm thinking if we do two, four, six, eight, that will be our visitor booths for our secure visitation. What did I do there? Okay. We can do that. We'll have a door for the prisoners to access right there. A couple visitor tables in this area. Um, prisoners can access it from inside. That's not a big deal. Um, this wall might disappear. We will probably just make it disappear. We'll see. For right now, it's going to stay. Uh, we'll have a corridor right here. We're going to need um, a holding cell. So. This is gonna be our holding cell area. We're gonna have two. That way if we get some protective prisoners or just if we just need to separate prisoners, we have the ability uh, to do that. Um, this one seems bigger on this side. Let's say seven, this looks like six. Yeah, it's still gonna be okay though. Um, what we'll do is in this little crazy area right here, um, we'll do like a little toilet. We'll do the same over here. And what I think we will do down in this section, we'll probably do like a shower. We're going to need that as well. So let's figure out how we want to design this. I really like that idea that that lady had in the last Prison Architect 2 video um, of incorporating toilets in your showers. <laughs> um, not necessary, but definitely m way more believable. So I think we're going to do something like that. We're going to have like a shower room entrance and a toilet entrance. But they're going to be connected rooms is what I'm going to do. And... Uh, Maybe something like this. We'll have sinks down here. Stall, stall, stall. Walk through. We don't even need to walk through, really. Um, we'll have a shower room right here. So we'll just bring this down. Something like that. It's believable. Um, showers along the side. Um, we'll do a couple of stalls and just old-fashioned stalls. People are going to be fighting over those. Um, canteen. I think we're ready to start laying the foundation to this prison. We got our basic necessities in. We're going to need to worry about an infirmary at some point in time. And maybe that will be in this kind of a corner here instead of doing another wing. Um, centralize the infirmary somewhere down here. Uh, we could also maybe do an infirmary over here. That way they have access to the utility side of things. Because we don't want our doctors and nurses getting stuck behind enemy lines when riots break out. So, <laughs> let's go ahead, unpause our game. Um, a couple things we need to do is turn off intake, because this is going to take a couple days here, in-game days, to build. Turn off our auto lights, and we're going to start building a brick building. Uh, right over here. How do we want to do this? We only have so much money, which is a okay. That's a good start. Our main entrance is right here. We're definitely going to need offices built fairly soon. So we'll work on our office area right there. Okay. So let's get our workers all working. And we might end up hiring uh, five more workers. So insufficient funds. Insufficient funds. I think I need to hire an accountant first. Maybe. Oh, I got you. We lost $5,000 really quick. I don't know how. I thought I budgeted better. But that's okay because we can go ahead and grab a grant. We need to hire a warden. <laughs> okay. Let's grab the... Let's grab basic detention center. 
Hey, let's go ahead and hire our warden, because I forgot we didn't have him. I was thinking that we all automatically started with one. Who is our warden? Car Hyde, the guard overseer of your prison. A warden will unlock the bureaucracy tree. Oh, well, we got that part, but what does he do? He improves the range of snipers, improves the suppression effect of snipers. Okay. We'll throw him in. We'll get him unlocking the accountant, the security, micromanagement, and prison policy all right now. He's going to need an office, though, and we'll get that to him pretty soon. Let's grab five more workmen, and let's go ahead and put this on maximum speed. You'll notice that my, my collection of books, book pages, is, is zero. Well, I guess it's one now. And that is because um, I have a good reason for it being one. It's because for those who have been following other series on this channel, my computer crashed several months ago. Completely, I, I fried it. Let's just say that much. It was very sad. It was my own stupid fault that I fried it with the static electricity. So I got a new computer and uh, fresh install of Prison Architect and whatnot. Um, deliveries, for right now, let's put deliveries right here and get rid of deliveries right here. I'm afraid to start right-clicking things that it might, it might end up canceling things and cost us more money to uh, do things. So that's going to be that for right now. So Prison Architect 2, I'm liking the lighting. I like that there's different types of hanging lights that you can use. Um, I wish that was the case in PA1. I hope they add more uh, options. Um, the graphics are good, to, good in my opinion. I like the building digital graphics, the digital 3D graphics that they have of the rooms, the walls, the trucks, all that stuff. When they overlay the prisoners on top of that environment, the prisoners almost look like little paper cutouts walking through. They're 3D paper cutouts, but they look like paper mache almost. Um, so that's a complaint or criticism. Um, but I do like that the prisoners now have interactions. They have arms, um, fingers. Uh, they have facial features, uh, emotions. I love all of that. So whoa, I'm hitting buttons on my keyboard. So you can see we kind of got this small plot fairly well laid out. I don't like how close we are to the edge here, so I'm going to just tunnel out fairly easily. So we're going to be working on expanding uh, this way at first. I always liked uh, doing prisons that expand across the road too, so we might look at that later on. We're just kind of um, in limbo right now. Things will pick up in this episode. So like I said, I have recorded this three. This is my third go-through. Um, I've done like two episodes each recording, and I just decided that warden mode was not the way for us to go because something would happen in part of the prison, and I was like, oh no, I have to slowly walk all the way over there. Um, and for entertainment's sake, uh, for the viewer, it might be better to do um, just like this, where if we can say, oh, something's happening in the canteen, let's go see what's going on. We got a guard, a security camera there. We can see something. something's happening in the cell block. So that will be... Uh, worthwhile if we can go ahead and sell some stuff um, we did turn off intake right we are closed I heard that little buzzer sound so we are kind of in limbo oh we need doors um, I'm used to the old school doors that used to be in objects and then they added rooms with a door, which confused me to no end. And now they add have the actual doors over here, which still confused me to no end. Yes, there's double doors. I prefer single doors to make double doors. I like them to open independent of each other. Um, We're going to do a visitor door um, right here. No, visitor doors are down here, aren't they? We'll do another staff door right here. And we'll do a staff door here, 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 and here. And we'll probably throw in one for kicks and giggles right here. Ooh, 
what is going on. I think it has something to do with this delivery area. So what I'm going to do is do what I didn't want to have to do. Attempt to delete this delivery area. Okay, fortunately that didn't cancel anything. So that's good. I'm going to go back through the video and check out the volume level. Hopefully it's loud enough for you guys. Um, so we're going to do a storage area in here eventually. Wait for everything to pop up here. We'll start working on internal walls. Um, our priority is the administrative section. So let's go ahead, slow things down, and start working administratively um, here. I think as you go into the administrative section, we're going to go ahead and de define this with that green classy wall. And then as we move on into the warden's office, we're going to do that. Uh, burgundy classy wall and the same with these other offices they're just going to be a little more fancier um, we are going to need some doors at some point in time and probably we will do a uh, staff door there but wooden doors everywhere else that we need to put them Hopefully there hasn't been too much background noise. I just realized I have my laundry going in the background. And I forgot about that while I am recording. It just kicked off, so hopefully that will end any rumbling or distorting noise in the background. We are going to go ahead and zone an office for our warden. That is not the office. This is the office right here. If you hear a siren in the background, that is just the tornado siren. Uh, they do that every... Um, Saturday. We're going to go ahead. We're not going to worry about carpet right now because of money concerns. But we are going to grab some desks. So I did all... I, I have already pre-ordered Prison Architect 2. Um... And with that pre-order, I have, um, let me finish just laying out this office and try to think. I have purchased the DLC, the uh, Warden expansion, so we'll have that to look at. We don't need three, we only need one, but I like things to look nice and, and uh, well thought out here. All the dogs on the street are barking outside. I can hear them all. <laughs> we'll get windows put in in due time. Gonna need some lighting in here. Just like that. We are gonna need to do utilities too. So that's being all done. Um, our warden should be researching something here as soon as their office is completed. 
There we go. We got their office done. So while they're researching that, we're going to rezone our garbage. We're going to move that to right here. We'll have our exports right here. So let's go ahead and grab exports. Exports. Storage. Exports. Exports. There it is. Okay. And... Um, Let's go ahead and start working on our next office. So grab this, throw our secretary's office right here, our accountant, if you will. Um, we'll go ahead and start putting stuff in her office. She just gets a regular desk. And I think her desk is gonna be right, right, uh, hmm desk is going to be right there and she's going to have an interesting setup. I'm just seeing what's unlocked and what's not unlocked. Um, grab a small table, kind of make an L desk for her. I wish I had some more variations of things. Uh, that'd be really nice. Um, again, I don't have any mods installed, installed so uh, we'll give her a swivel chair. Um, we'll give her some green file cabinets. Um, her file cabinets are going to be chair again, throw that in right there, and we'll do the green file cabinet. Put one there. We'll put a couple up here. And we'll throw a coat rack down here for her. She's not totally without comforts. Um, she's going to need some chairs receive people so we'll put a, like a little waiting area right there we're gonna have a waiting area here too so don't worry I haven't forgotten about that um, windows for her we're gonna do this large glass window so she can see out into the waiting room and then she's gonna have her office window There's going to be a couple just like that. There's going to be some. Right there. So I have one right there. And one right there. The warden. We're running short of money. We just really need to hire her first. We can do another grant for administrative. That gives us a little bit more money to play with while we're waiting for things to unlock. Yes, I could speed up time, but I don't want to. Um, let's go back to our windows. There are better things to spend money on. I do understand. Let's just do that. have a small window right here looking out this way so I don't want prisoners being able to look in and watch the warden uh, use the facilities I'm not gonna have any windows on this wall here um, there will be though two small windows right here I can make those big windows okay let's speed this up a little bit we're just waiting for him to finish researching Okay, there, there's that. Let's go ahead and hire our accountant. Boop. Okay, we need to do some electrical work.
and we are probably going to need to unlock um, extra grant, bank loan, tax relief eventually. Let's start there. Let's also uh, work on um, fixing everything up here. We got things being built. Um, we're going to continue to put on some lights uh, throughout our prison. I was wanting that to be in the middle. I'm going to have to do a double door there, it looks like. Um, we can correct that air here. Let's go ahead and dismantle that door. We'll do a double door there at some point in time. Speed things up just a hair. So when you come into um, the prison, you will get to see uh, out into the courtyard, into the yard area, quite literally. Um, that will be fine. I'm going to do windows there. Grab that door again that we just took off. Put it right there. Just like that. Over here is going to be a staff door. Do another staff door here. And we'll do our kitchen staff door down here. This is, you're entering into where prisoners might be. It's gonna be an orange staff door. Um, prisoners might be working in the kitchen someday, so uh, it's just gonna be more of a restricted area. Just a FYI, you are entering a, a, an area where you could get jumped for your keys. <laughs> um, objects, toilets, let's do um, toilet, toilet, let's do sink, sink. Throw a light in right there. Utilities. Let's get our power up and going. Let's get our water ready to go. Let's go down and work on our chief of security's office, which for the time being is probably going to be in this room or this room. Um, they're both the same size. They can probably be right here. Let's go ahead and do his office. So he gets a regular desk. He is going to have... Give him a fan. Give him some uh, file cabinets along this wall. We'll give him a TV in this corner. And we'll give him some chairs for anyone that's visiting him to sit at. Give him a, a swivel chair. And um, he'll be good to go. So power has been installed. That is great. Water is installed. That's also great. Um, let's start running utilities. need to run utilities a little further to get to that corner. Um, 
We can now install our capacitor. Utilities, water. Work on this too. Um, let's go ahead and put a boiler in right here. And we're going to need to run power to that boiler, which I think will feed off of the power that's already there. We'll see if that works or not. Um, so we're just slowly getting things done. Objects, lights. We can probably start putting lights in these corridors. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, got that, we got power coming on and we are good there. Okay, we'll take care of uh, water and stuff going down there in due time. Looks like our boiler is working as anticipated. That is all good. Um, let's go ahead and go to grants. Um, we're still working on that basic detention center. Let's do staff well being. That would be really great to do. Um, let's build that staff room. Um, it's going to be right here. Let's go ahead and grab some objects for that. Um, we definitely need the wide sofa. We'll do like a little section over here for sofa. Uh, what else does the grant require? Have at least five guards assigned without duty. Build a staff room. Um, we need a drink machine. Okay. Let's go ahead and see if we can do... Uh, one more grant. <laughs> what I am thinking is, uh, can we do a loan? Bank loan. Would that be down here that we do a loan? Um, our loan's unlocked yet. It will be in a couple seconds. Grant. We need to hire five guards. Okay, we can now pay off that loan. Okay, so there's our five guards. I really like how the prison is coming along. I think it's coming along swell. Um, Um, 
what is that? It's not a paving stone. Oh, they got so many things, I'm not sure. Might be a paving stone. Concrete tile is what that is. Throw that in there with some green grass. Just make things look a little nicer for our visitors. Okay. We need to start building out this way. That's going to cost us some money. What can we do? Well, I think the first thing that we can do is do a cell block A, but we can't unlock that until we build the basic detention center. Um... We're going to need to do a medical ward at some point in time. Let's go ahead and grab that. And that will help us do uh, the immediate right now. make sure we have a setting turned on um, wouldn't be under there I just want to check our settings we have weather on um, as far as gameplay I think we have events yeah we have events okay just want to check that out because usually I get an event during like the first day or two of walls subsiding we have not had that, so we're going to build this area right now. That's our canteen, our kitchen area. Um, we'll get that going. We won't buy all of our kitchen equipment quite yet. How's our staff feeling? I have no idea. They're, they're, not, they're not very happy. <laughs> Well, they should get happier. They have a staff room. Let's go ahead and grab another capacitor. I can see we're going to need that. Um, while we got the kitchen going there, let's go ahead and extend our plumbing down right through this wall into a small pipe that goes like this. to be a problem. We'll put a little window right there. Okay. We need at least one more um, grant to help us out. We really have to choose wisely. That would take a while to complete. Any of these are going to take a while to complete. Mm. 
we can do that easily enough. Um, now I'm going to do something a little crazy here. So, fear not. Now, the safe thing would be to have doors here, but because I have my serving table inside, um, that's not necessarily an option. So we have to expand our canteen a little bit like this, and um, then we can do our kitchen. So there's a little bit of inter intermingling, and if we have problems, we can move things. It's not the biggest deal in the world. We're just going to buy one of everything for right now, just because I do not have a whole lot of money to spare. So we'll do that. I'm not even worried about lighting right now. We're going to need to hire two cooks. Canteen. We're just going to do one table right now. We'll be able to do another one down here eventually. Okay. Once all those get installed, we still need to do a yard, a shower. So let's work on this yard. We're going to need a, a weight bench. We just need one. Let's put it right down here. And let's go ahead and do um, just for kicks and giggles. This is going to come back out. A fence with a fence gate right there. Let's prioritize that so we can get some money. So in the new prison architect, uh, staff will be able to go through these doors before they are placed, which is kind of nice. Not staff, but workmen. So that will be a, a really nice thing. Let's grab our yard. And this is just a temporary yard. Oh, it needs to be five by five. Shucks. Another way we can make some money is taking, getting rid of some of these trees here. They'll get put in the export section where we can just sell it outright right now. Okay, let's go ahead and work on a fence along there. Let's dismantle this guard gate. Let's dismantle this along here. Okay, let's grab that gate and install it. Really, I think it should be a staff gate, but we'll do a guard gate. Um, install it. And we're going to need to finish this fencing right along here. Go into our rooms, grab our yard, and expand it. Prioritize that gate, and we'll get some more money. Okay. We've completed a grant. That is great, 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 great. Um, 
we now have some money to do some other things. Um, now I want to look at the visitation grant and see what that gives us. And we may have to unlock it um, under our warden. Visitation. Do you guys see it anywhere? Staff vetting. Um, that's new. Um, I really hope they ha have uh, Death Row um, in Prison Architect 2. That's something that a lot of people are concerned about. Uh, even if it's a DLC, I really think they need to they need to keep that in there. Um, so visitation should already be, it looks like, unlocked. But I'm not seeing the visitation grant. There's usually a visitation grant. Oh, visitor rights. It's still locked. What do we need? We need to complete the basic detention center. Okay. So, um, let's go ahead. We're going to need holding cells and a shower. That will be completed right there. And then, then our basic detention center will be essentially done. We'll get this $10,000. We'll be able to start working on our cell block A. We'll get a grant for that. Um, we can get our grant for our visitor center. So this is all coming along just fine. Hoping we can do this before we lose too much money. We can probably take in some prisoners in the morning. I'm a little hesitant about that. Because I really don't have any cells up. I don't even have the holding cells up yet. It'd be really cutting things kind of tight. But that would also give us a boost in some revenue. We're not really ready for prisoners. Just so you know, if you ever find something that's fallen off a delivery truck, hey, you get free goody. I don't think that's how that um, I don't think that's how that works in real life. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and search that. See what we found. Oh, we got a uh, road barrier. We'll use that eventually. Okay. money here with our loans now. That's good. Sorry for the lack of commentary. I forget sometimes what I'm doing uh, with you all here. So let's go ahead and just complete this section right here. 
since we were able to take that big loan out, we even take a little bit more money out so we can start things going here. We needed an entrance into this um, holding cell, so I kind of had to build this hallway. Okay, we got some problems going on. Let's see what's going on. Due to some logistical error, we are receiving extra supplies. Okay, I'm okay with that. As long as I don't have to pay for them. I'm okay with that, too. Um, let's grab this brick wall and throw that in right here. Then we can do doors. We'll do just a regular cell door. And what we're going to do for our holding cells, we're going to grab toilets, throw them right in here. We're going to go ahead and grab um, some lighting. Sure, why not? Grab our benches that we're going to most definitely need. Hmm, how do we want to put these in? That will work. Rooms, holding cell. Let's go ahead and designate that. See, we're at the one hour and 12 minute mark. We're going to finish up building our basic detention center. And then we'll call it an episode. And then we will fill our prison with prisoners in the next episode after we finish doing a couple other little minor details. Um... Do you guys see what I'm looking at? The answer is no, because I don't see it. <laughs> um, holding cell, right here. No. That's a padded holding cell. I want just a regular holding cell. And there it is. Okay. That will work just fine. We can get a shower built here too in just a moment. Matter of fact, to make things look a little nicer, we're gonna have this whole wall in tile since it's sharing a wall with the bathroom. The weather has become more erratic in recent years. We were lucky this time around, but the prison should be prepared for the eventuality some grants are offered to local businesses after adverse weather. I trust you'll take advantage of them as, as them as and when they are available. Hmm. What is that? Um, whoops. I, I didn't know that move. Okay. Uh, grants. What did that unlock for us? Anything? Emergency protocols. Have any calamity happened? Activate stay indoors during a calamity three times to protect your staff from dangerous weather. We'll get that and just have that in the background ready to use. It's not going to be that big of a deal. I'm starting to get kind of excited, guys. Um, while, while we're kind of waiting for things to... Uh, get done because we don't have any doors right now for this um, uh, holding cell until this is opened up um, you know I mean people are still slipping through some walls that are not completed actually are they even scheduled to be completed no they are not <laughs> they should be uh oh we got another phone call from the warden Congratulations on handling this calamity. Your prisoners are thankful. I don't have any. For your care and will have their needs boosted for the next five days. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. 
So we're slowly getting things underway here. Whoops, hitting wrong buttons. Finger mashing the keyboard. Let's uh, go ahead with the money we have and kind of work on our canteen just a little bit. Now we obviously don't need this many, but I want to fill it out. This will hold quite a number of prisoners. Oh, that's, that's, made that too far, did I? Made that one too far too. Okay. We'll leave a nice little open section in the middle here. We can always fill that in, but we're just going to leave it open for right now. Let's go ahead and continue getting things underway. We're just kind of in that waiting game, so in our next episode, we'll have this all built. And we'll be ready to start putting prisoners in our prison, which is going to be kind of exciting. Hopefully, uh, we'll have some good prisoners off the bat and things won't be too chaotic. One thing we can probably do is hire our chief while we're waiting for everything. And he can start unlocking deployment. We're definitely going to need that. We need a lot of things unlocked from him. And uh, health and well-being, we're going to need these unlocked by our warden. One thing we can go ahead and start working on is our staff canteen. This is really going to help our staff out a lot. So while we're waiting for things, we can go ahead and zone this as a canteen. It will be for staff only, though, and we'll do that as soon as deployment is unlocked. Let's go ahead and grab a door and just uh, plop these in right along there and uh, also um, a door right here. Let's go ahead and grab a door for this room as well. Grab our doors for here. Now let's go ahead and um, take care of our objects, tables. We're going to be able to serve quite a number of staff at one time, which is a very good thing. Grab our serving table, stick that right there. Let's grab a trash can. So when they're all done, they can clean up their mess. We already have lights in there. Let's go ahead and take a look at windows. We're gonna do barred windows since we're gonna be overlooking the courtyard. Do something like, uh, like this. We will do two. And we'll do two like that. It's a little off-centered. That's okay. So I'm going to do two right here. Okay. So those are going to be installed. And we'll just kind of just do the waiting game as we just continue to wait for that basic detention center to get built. We can start working on our shower now. Um, let's go ahead and grab our shower heads. And I always like to do, you know, some small benches in, in, in the showers uh, so people can wash their feet and whatever else they need to wash, um, they'll be good to go. Let's grab some lights for our shower. We'll do these uh, wall lights. I think they'll be pretty good for a shower environment. Um, we're going to grab these wall lights for in here too. We'll do one right here and one right here. And we'll grab our toilets, throw them down. And we're not going to do doors, because these are prisoners. We are going to do sinks, though, just like that. Um, and that will be that. What are we missing? Surrounded by doors and walls. Whoops. 
Let's, let's double up on that door. Let's double up on these walls. Prioritize, rather, is what I mean. Actually, okay, yeah. Okay, let's get those done. And then we just need a zone or shower, and that will be it, guys. Shower. Zone that underway. We're just waiting for the shower. That's it. A shower head in the drain is all we need. And this episode will be uh, done. It will be a wrap. It will be successful. Come on. Come on. Let's uh, prioritize the shower. Okay, we're getting lights installed. Apparently we have power out this way, which I'm surprised. Shower is done. We have it. We have our basic detention center. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining me in this episode of Prison Architect Let's Play. Um, as we say farewell to Prison Architect 1, uh, but we are looking forward to Prison Architect 2. I'll see you in the next episode of Swift Off 7. Uh, Swift Off 7 Gaming. Until next time, goodbye.